In this video I show you how to create a tab activity in Android. <clears throat> so first we open our uh, Android Studio. Now we create a new project. So we start at the, from the roots. Now I say this is a demo tab. Let's say demo 05 tab activity. <clears throat> and it's a phone or tablet uh, um, app and now we have here um, here is the tapped activity and we want a, uh, an activity with uh, with a tap and the main in the menu and several sub pages now we have here the main activity uh, let's uh, all okay, and then we have a tab bar with tabs. Uh, so we see here there's small tabs on there. So there's always page one, two, three, and four and five. Okay. Now when we start that system, will uh, automatically create uh, all the stuff what we need for our application. Uh, this needs a little bit time as long as this one is running there but we meanwhile we will see okay <coughs> we have here still uh, in our in our project the Android manifest now uh, it opened the fragment one there's a main activity this is the main activity and inside the main activity now when you see here here are the tabs and inside this uh, container the big block there are always the frag uh, the fragments and on when we created this stuff uh, let's see there's uh, the main on the main fragment you will see here there's a section label and all this stuff okay so <clears throat> what else do, do we have here? We have here uh, the main activity. Uh, first, let's let's run this uh, stuff. So you will see what's going on with this basic uh, with this base project. Now, when system runs. And uh, we have to think about what we want to do. We want a main activity or main with some uh, sub pages, page one, two, three, uh, on our um, content block. Now the debugger is running. So, okay, this is we did nothing now else uh, but installing the uh, the project. And when we switch now to our sections, we see the tabs there, and we may switch there. We may uh, use it by our by the cursor or by, uh, by pushing this one, uh, swiping it, and. So there's a, a good stuff uh, implemented there. So <clears throat> now we go to our main activity, Java. Uh, wh what's going on there is now we have the main activity and the fragment and there's only one fragment and there's a text inside there. So we want now different uh, fragments. Fragment is not, nothing uh, than a sub page. So we create a new fragment there's a, a fragment a blank fragment and now we say okay uh, let's say frag one or page one sub page one sub page zero one okay fragment sub page zero one and another 
now you see there's a in Java Java layout this uh, block and also in uh, the layout here is a fragment subpage one okay now we create a, a further one we say okay new fragment a blank page uh, let's say sub sub page zero two okay so and in the now we have to go on uh, in the main Java here uh, there's the main activity here uh, is a little bit stuff what we have to look about yep. <coughs> here is uh, a big block there's a lot of stuff written there what it does and we have here ba -ba -bum, where is it here's a that's the point what we need we have the uh, placement placeholder fragment so this is the important stuff and the section adapter and as you see here this uh, section one uh, what the system does is when you uh, click on the menu on on this tab uh, on the tabs then this one will be uh, this comes back okay so it's uh, this are the titles okay this is sub page one or page one let's say page one zero one and zero two okay page zero two and all the other other stuff is uh, a second point and the system says okay uh, whenever somebody pushes on the uh, menu then it will give uh, give back the position plus one so it's page one page two zero becomes one okay you will see what uh, happens on there and now what we have to change is is the fragment uh, a placeholder fragment uh, will be called whenever somebody um, clicks on the menu <coughs> and when he clicks on there the number will uh, as an the action argument section number is given with this one and we have to say okay um, where is it yeah no oh, I lost the position yeah so that's it um, we have to uh, on the create view we have to say okay when it's created uh, we we have want uh, to use it like this one I already gave me myself this is not the stuff arguments uh, come on like this one we say here when the argument <clears throat> when the argument we say here uh, go here if our argument which comes by the calling equals one then do something that's the uh, stuff w which happened before cannot resolve get argument great get 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 okay uh, 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 uh. now 
I go back with this one and first I have to check what happened so this one and this one and now I wanna check out what happened there something is wrong everything's okay okay <clears throat> now we say this one we say if this one is uh, equal zero then then uh, if this one is equals one then do the first stuff otherwise else <clears throat> now this works uh, now if we have the number one then give me something back and we have to say okay now it's not only the text view what was written uh, originally there was the text view inside the uh, of our here main activity fragment main there is uh, one point is which is uh, this is the text view there is the text view and there's a label in there a section label and this is all was uh, shown in the former and the previous uh, debug run uh, what we say here is we don't we all uh, we want again a view and the view will be uh, created by inflator inflate and here comes the uh, normally it's the main fragment and now we want not the main fragment we want the page one and that's it and we will say okay if somebody If somebody push the uh, second uh, button then we want the second page and now we run it uh, we debug it here it is now when we push the page one or page two then this stuff comes up and now the uh, the opportunity of the of our stuff is that when we here when we are here in our uh, fragment sub page one there now we are able to do something there as we we may modify it and we say okay here's a big block and say this is page one uh, <clears throat> this is page zero one and we don't need this one anymore we may modify it uh, and with the other one we do the same we say okay maybe a big block in there and push button one push the button zero of page two <coughs> and we don't need this one here string um, no, this run it again so this is the page one page two and this is the uh, main this one fragment main <clears throat> so I hope I could help you uh, with uh, showing how to create a tapped uh, tapped activity and how to um, set up uh, to click into an another activity and if you liked it then uh, please